welcome to Beauty with Seven. Today is Sunday, so yeah, here I am. And today I'm going to do the Jolly Hol the hot the Holly Jolly Holiday tag. Okay, so number one, what is your favourite Christmas movie? My favourite Christmas movie is Elf. Elf is hilarious. It's quite an old film, but I absolutely love it. And let it rain on forever. And it's Will Ferrell. And he's just so hilarious. And he's all like this stuff at the back. He's just hilarious. I love him. Bad on my foot. Number two. Are you on the naughty list or the nice list? I hope I'm on the nice list. Number three. Show us your embarrassing Christmas photo. It's not really a cr embarrassing Christmas photo, but we put it out every Christmas in this really like pr Christmassy frame, and yeah, it settles. So it's this one. Um, it's me in the summer, and it's quite embarrassing because I'm like, wearing a daisy chain on my head that I just made, and it's um, kind of embarrassing because I'm going. No, I'm going. There you go. See the resemblance? Yeah. Okay. I was such a cute baby. Okay, <laughs> number four. Have you ever had a white Christmas? No, sadly no. We've never had a white Christmas. My mum has, but I haven't. Number five. Where do you usually spend your holiday? I spend my holiday at my grandma's house in Brighton. Number six. Play or sing your favourite Christmas song. My favourite Christmas song at the moment is Jingle Bells by Michael Bublé. My dad got the album for Christmas and I've just like fallen in love with Michael Bublé. Merry Christmas, ladies. Merry Christmas, Mr. Bublé. Are you ready to sing a little Jingle Bells? Yes. Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to My ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Dashing through the snow. And you get the idea of that. So yeah, that is my favourite Christmas song at the moment. Number seven, do you open any presents on Christmas Eve? No, but I have once, but on Christmas Eve I opened um, these little top trumps just from my um, auntie. But it was just a small present. Number eight, can you name all of Santa's reindeer? No, I don't think I can. There's Rudolph, Donna, Dancer, Prancer and Blitzen. I can only name five, so... And I don't think Prancer is even one, so I don't know. Number nine. What holiday tradition are you most looking forward to this year? Probably going to my auntie's house to see Santa. Um, before I go to my grandma's house, I go to my auntie's house. And she lives in the country and has like a huge, she lives on like a farm and it's so lovely. And I get all my Christmas presents from my other family there and like I see everyone and stuff. And yeah, my uncle, no, my yeah, my uncle dresses up as um, Santa for all the kids and, yeah, and gives us all, like, these little selection boxes and it's just so lovely. And my other uncle dresses up as whatever. He is it's new every year. They hire out an outfit for him and it's really funny and really festive. Number 10. Is your Christmas tree real or fake? My Christmas tree is real. You should never get a fake one. It is not right. There is a tradition. It's a tradition. Why would you not go and go to like a garden centre or something and pick out a tree? It's just like a part of Christmas. Why would you do that? Instead of walking to the loft getting the tree. Just just no. It's not it's not good. And the smell's really nice as well. But if you have a fake one, I don't care to be honest. I do care. It's not like I'm saying, oh, I don't care. You do what you want. I'm saying um, I can see the benefits of having a fake Christmas tree too. Um, number 11. Hands down, what is your all-time favourite holiday food and holiday sweet treat? My favourite holiday food is pigs and blankets. They are delicious. Sausages and bacon combined. So good. And also candy canes are my favourite sweet treat. They're so good. Number 12. Be honest, do you like giving gifts or receiving gifts better? I would definitely say giving because it's more fun really because like you can just go out into town and say like, oh, this person like this, this person will like this, this person like this and like wrapping it all up and putting it under the tree. It's more interesting than just getting a box, opening it up and you might not even like the thing that's inside. So it's more fun. Number 13, show us your tackiest Christmas attire. 
I don't really have tacky Christmas attire, but I found this, and I wore this on my season outfit, my season, my dressy season outfit, and it's just this um, leopard print waistcoat. I'm not sure. I'm sorry. This is a bit of a letdown, but this is all I could find. Um, number fourteen. Where would your dream place? What would be your dream place to visit for the holiday season? Either Lapland, which is in Finland, or Disneyland. Number 15. Does your family have a special holiday recipe you like to help make? Yes, my, um, every time, everyone, every, uh, everyone that comes to my grandma's house for Christmas, they, like, either bring, like, a bottle of wine or something, or they bring, like, a dessert. My family usually bring a banoffee pie, and I, like, have, I help, I like to help make that. 16. Are you a pro present wrapper or do you fail miserably? I fail miserably. I am so bad at wrapping presents. I'm just awful. I like waste like a whole like three metres worth of wrapping paper. I don't know. Just my hand motion is just so random. Number 17. What is your most memorable holiday moment? Probably when I got told I was going to record my own song with um, my best friend Ellie. And um, we wrote the song when we were little. Well, not little, about nine or ten. And it's, we thought it was really good. And we sang it with, like, a piano and everything. And our, my pa our parents loved it too. They were, like, singing it and everything. So they thought, how about we just get them a recording thing for Christmas? So it took a year for us to actually do it. And we went to um, this place and we had a whole day, like, recording it. Like, a proper, like, recording studio and stuff. And if you want to hear the song... um then, I don't know, but if you want to hear the song, I will put, I think I'll put a link down below or something like that. S number 18, what made you realise the truth about Sander? What truth? What the hell? That is a stupid question. 19, do you make New Year's resolutions and do you stick to them? No, I do not make res New Year's resolutions and no, I do not stick to them. And finally, number 20, what makes the holiday special for, me, for you? I would probably say um, um, doing family traditions. Like, people have um, different things that they do with their family every year. And, like, no one's um, Christmas is exactly the same. Like, some people will, like, have a walk, like, before. My family have never done that. So, it's just the different things that you do with your family. Okay, so... I hope you enjoyed this holly jolly holiday tag and hope to see you soon. Bye!